Okay. To speak. It's on. on. Okay. Welcome to the Rose City Classic. This is Laura Reeves, your host from Pure Dog Talk. We're starting this evening with the sporting group. Judge is Barbara Alderman from, as they said, New Township, Pennsylvania. So the sporting group, everybody knows, these are the bird dogs. Setters, spaniels, retrievers, pointers. These are the dogs that are gonna go hunting for primarily feather. A few of them, the continental versatile hunting dogs, will hunt fur and feather. But primarily these are dogs that are designed to be bird hunters. So Barbara Alderman has the dogs in line. She's gonna start with the pointer. This pointer is grand champion Chester Hope. Never ask why for day keen. It's owned by Tabitha Buckley and Kara O'Neill. Bred by Chester Hope Kennels. And this is Mark Bettis, an AKC registered handler showing the dog. Uh, this dog has uh, one best in show already at least once on this weekend. Been successful in the sporting group so far, so this is definitely a dog you want to watch. Mark does a nice job getting the dog to stand up and look by tossing a piece of bait. And like a wonderful exhibitor, goes and picks up his bait. Good job, Mark. All right, our next dog today is the Weimar Honor. It's grand champion tripod and calvaries, courtesy of the red, white, and we think that's blue. And this is Tiffany Skinner. Uh, Tiffany was, is the handler, and the owner is Ryan Holman and Mindy Wilson, and it was bred by Ryan and Mindy. And, uh, this is Griffey. Griffey's, uh, Griffey is what some of us in, in dog handling would call um, exuberant. And you watch Tiffy managing to uh, keep a handle on a dog that wants to give her the business and that is what makes a great handler a great handler is being able to hold that dog together. And yes, that's what we call enthusiasm. Next, Miss Alderman is looking at the Irish setter. This is grand champion, my jeans, you mad bro? This is Sherman. Uh, Sherman is handled by uh, Jennifer Holmberg. He is bred by Jean Johnson and Joanne Holmberg and Sarah Schumann. Owned by Sarah Schumann, Jean Johnson, and jo Jennifer and Joanne Holmberg. This is a family affair. This is Jennifer's first homebred best in show dog. So. She's, uh, she's pretty proud of Sherman. Sherman is another dog, the rollicking Irish setter. Sherman shows you that big smile on his face. Jennifer walks him into a really beautiful free start. Our next dog, our next dog, the Golden Retriever, is cha uh, Grand Champion Rush Hills Sea Quill to Golden Hills, and that is uh, Tanya Hoop Struble handling. Tanya is a co-breeder along with Cindy Heisler, and uh, the owner is Catherine Meadow and Michael Aldegore, as well as Tanya. So this is again one of Tanya's own dogs. She's been very successful in the Northwest with her golden retrievers. I know she also does some field work with some of them. So good on you, Tanya. Sounds great. Yeah, Thank you. 
Kathy be on that? She does. Our next dog is the English Setter, and uh, this dog is being handled by Christy Marley. The dog is Grand Champion Gold Rush Party Attire CA, bred by Diane Michelson and Norman Michelson, owned by Lisa Nielsen and uh, Norman and Diane Michelson. And uh, this is Tux. Tux is a tricolor English Setter, which is not something you see very often. Happens to be one of my personal favorites, um, but to be a successful show dog and be a tricolor in English setters is, is not very common. And Christy is rocking the uh, shiny suit Saturday here at Portland that we all know and love. Archie Westy says thanks. Gene Johnson says. And so this German short haired pointer today uh, came out of the bred by exhibitor class. So for those of you who aren't as familiar, that's not very common. There were a lot of uh, specials entered, uh, more than half a dozen. This dog is uh, owned by Maxine Monnier and Didier Monnier and Mo Farley, bred by the same group. This is Hunter's Pride Rockstar Farabrook. And this uh, dog is from Canada, it's from BC, Canada. It's one of the things that we see a lot of here at the Portland Dog Shows is people uh, get to come from Canada and really participate and, and have an opportunity to show their quality animals uh, at some AKC shows that uh, particularly for the BC folks aren't that far away. And this is showing that he's a little bit of a baby, not quite nailed it, good job. And the Brittany tonight is handled by Niener, <laughs> Ricard. It says champion Dream Highs, don't hate the player, hate the game. Uh, he's bred by Joseph Ramondetta, owned by Tom and Lori Ricard. And uh, this is a breed that uh, Niener's shown a lot of. And uh, this dog himself is uh, been shown a good bit and shows that he's sort of a polished professional at this. Gordon Setter tonight is uh, handled by Monica Lamontagne. This is Grand Champions Hotchkiss Amber Love Back to Nature. And he is bred by Lori Ward, Timothy Ward, and Roseanne Schwergar Gareth. Sorry guys, butchered that one. Uh, owned by uh, Lori and Timothy Ward. And uh, Gordon Setter, the heaviest of the three setters. So heavy body, heavier head. Uh, very striking dog that I know Monica's done pretty well with. The Vishla this evening is shown by Connor McFadden of the famous McFadden family in California. This particular dog is Grand Champion Golden Empire's Double Action Remington. And he was bred by Melody Daggs and Michelle Coburn and is owned by Sarah and Robert Johnson and the breeders. And so this is a, a young dog that uh, Connor is just starting to get serious with and doing a very nice job. Oh, 
And the Irish Water Spaniel this evening is uh, being handled by Stacy Duncan. Stacy is a second generation handler and uh, is also the owner and one of the breeders of this dog who is champion Flint Crest Full Monty. Uh, the additional breeder is Colleen McDaniel and the additional owner, Cat uh, Shelby and Michelle Cummings. And so I know from talking to Stacy, this is a young dog that she's just getting started, but she's very excited about. Um, she particularly commented on his very dark, rich liver color, which I think is beautiful. The Chesapeake Bay Retriever tonight is being handled. It's being handled by Larry Finner, and the dog is uh, Grand Champion Shock Tops Power to Act, bred by Kimberly Wright and owned by Kimberly. And so this is a female bitch special that Larry won the breed with in a very competitive lineup of Chessies. Okay, I'm gonna go get my dog for the group. He said, "Shoot, you're in hell. yeah." You're in hell. But, he said if we have another catalog, we can sit over there and start marking. Okay. I just, I, I borrowed this one yeah. from Paul. So, if so we just got to find another catalog and, okay. and I can, after I get done with him, I can go find a catalog. Okay. I'll just, we'll just switch out. I don't know that I can help a toy though. It's okay. And the flat coat tonight is uh, Grand Champion Almanza Strike a Pose. And this is being shown, I believe, by his owner, Heather Dawson. She, sorry. Uh, she, this is a female. And the breeder on here, on this young dog, is Ragan Hild Ulu. Uh, Almanza Kennels. And it looks like this may be an imported dog. The sire is from Finland, it looks to me like. So this is a very, very exciting win, I'm sure, for her. This is a very competitive breed ring uh, with a lot of really high-quality dogs in it. So congratulations to Heather. The English Springer this evening is uh, with Linda O'Connor, and this is a dog that Linda has done some pretty nice winning with. This is Grand Champion Foxboro Cristalino, and the breeder on this dog is S. Still, and I should know that first name, and I'm sorry I don't. The owner, Linda O'Connor, uh, Glenda McCain, and S. Still, and this is Chris, who has. Uh, been very successful for Linda for the last year or so. Okay, quick correction, the flat coat is handled by Andrea Haas, and the Spinoni Italiano this evening is not being handled by me, <laughs> since it's the one I normally show. It's being handled by Anthony Cantor, and this is Adele. She is grand champion Colino Adoro Adele by Royal Design, 
and she is owned and bred by Stacy and Lauren Belt. Well done, Anthony. She didn't jump on you. You win a big prize. I might be fired. <laughs> might be retired. Yeah, I might be retired too. And the Labrador Retriever this evening. This is another one of those that was a pretty, pretty big win. This is a class dog from the uh, 12 to 18 month class. And the dog's name is Nip and Tuck, well played. Uh, the owner of the dog is uh, Scott and Rebecca Gorton Daniker, also the breeders. So I believe, yep, this is definitely a breeder owner handled dog. Uh, he was only entered for the first time today. And uh, since uh, this breeder placed second in the group with a different dog yesterday, that's pretty impressive. She's doing pretty well. Young dog showing his uh, newness to the group ring. And the wire hair pointer this evening is being handled by Bob Perry. And this is champion Hilltop and Hawk Haven's Hawkeye. It's a very young dog, bred by Betty Stroh and Laura Miles, owned by Betty Stroh and Peter Paduke. And uh, I know this is a young dog. Yeah, he's about 18 months old. So just getting him started. Just getting him used to the idea of the group ring. That's what this is right now. This is the sporting group. There's one every night. New judge. Uh, the toller this evening is champion Toll Chester's Bright Eyes CDRACGC. Nice. So that's. Uh, got a lot of uh, activity that's that's going on with it. Lael Aksu oh, is the owner of the dog, and the breeder is Simone Sortwell. And, uh, very happy-looking young little female. Nicely, nicely handled by the young lady there. The Welsh Springer Spaniel this evening is Grand Champion Red, Sa Red Sage Hello Sunshine. And that's Catelyn Cahill handling. And the breeder is Catherine Dalstead and Sandra Holmes. The owner, Amy Herman and Catherine Dalstead. This is uh, a pretty little bitch that uh, had a very nice entry in Welsh, so good competition today for this breed that you don't see very many of very often. The American Water Spaniel this evening. Apparently, I did not get to that page in time. Is Grand Champion Beaver Creek Storm Warning? Oh, okay. This is uh, Lola Thorsness and Linda McGrath and Haley Pimble as breeders uh, with the same group along with S. Martinez as owners. And this is young dog with a young handler. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, the black cocker this evening is a little a little bitch. Um, called cha Champion Silhouette Samamari Luminaire. And interestingly enough, this is bred by Linda Pitts. Linda Pitts' husband, Mike Pitts, of course, and the uh, Ascob Cocker just won Best in Show at the AKC National Championship in Orlando. Uh, this dog is owned by Stephanie Cowell, or possibly Call, and I apologize for saying it wrong. Also a young, a young girl, very petite. And actually is black and tan, which is allowed in the black cocker. And we know that Cocker Spaniels come in three varieties based on their color. This is the party color Cocker Spaniel. And this is, again, a class animal that defeated a pretty significant entry in the parties. This is My Idaho, My Chance, uh, read by Sharon Gerling. She's been in these, in these Cockers for a long, long time. And this came from the bred by exhibitor class. So good job, Sharon. And this breed is often called a Quaker because the long name is a little disconcerting for folks. And this is brand new to the sporting group, just started this year. This particular dog is Black Amico's Prima Donna Intarja. She has many titles, Fast Cat, CGC, lots of fun things that she's doing. So it's great that this owner has been involved with the breed and, and working with her dog other than just at the dog show. The breeder Serpa Luoto Nai Cannon. Boy, I am totally butchering that, guys. I am so sorry. Owned by Deborah Bean and Joyce Weichel. And this Cumber Spaniel is being handled by Anthony Cantor. And this dog is Grand Champion Papadou and Breakaway Talk of the Nation. And the breeder on the dog is Sarah Baird and Dennis Fitzpatrick. And the owners are the same. And uh, this is a nice young dog that uh, has had some success with Darcy. And, uh, very happy fellow, which we like to see in the breed. This English Cocker Spaniel is being handled by David Gidniak, and the dog's name is Rensfell Vodka Tonic, and I think this might be a dog people are going to want to keep an eye on. This came from the open dog class in a huge entry in English Cockers, and the breeder on the dog is uh, a CKC, AKC Judge uh, Virginia Line, and Catherine Whitby, also the owners. Uh, so the dog is coming down from BC, Canada, and uh, clearly bested quite a field of dogs for Ginny Line's young dog. Very nice. Mm -hmm. 
And this Sussex Spaniel is Buckley. This is uh, handler Rick Bagenstoss. The dog is champion Lexfield Buckley. Uh, also variety of titles, BN, CD, RA, TD, CGC. Bred by John Robert Lewis Jr. Owned by Carol Reeves. And Buckley is a very successful Sussex. It's not very many of them that are able to be as competitive as he is. They talk about the long, low level, and that's something that the dog is definitely able to demonstrate. Rick and Buckley make a great team. Okay, in the wire here pointing Griffon. The Griffon this evening is handled by, I can't see that far, I'm so sorry. Uh, oh, I bet you that's Amy Rutherford's assist assistant. Yes, that's who that is. This is champion Whiskey Town, Genesee on tap, master hunter. Love to see uh, competitive dog in the group ring with a Master Hunter title. That's always great. Bred by Megan Withrow and Christy Rogney. Owned by Larry Delaney. Apparently I'm going to have to start wearing my driving glasses so I can make out everybody's face. I apologize. <laughs> I don't know. Phil just asked me for a drum roll. What do you guys think? I'm just looking at my dog with a different handler saying, good girl. <laughs> okay, Barbara Alderman asks for the pointer, the Irish setter, the golden retriever, the English setter, the Brittany, the Vishla, the Springer, the Griffon, the Toller. And there's your cut. For people that aren't as familiar with this, typically when a judge has a very full group like this, uh, Mrs. Alderman's taken, I think, nine. And that's usually they're going to try and give that percentage, you know, 10% sort of of the, not even. Usually it's eight, but you want to make sure you have more than five. That's a bad number. <laughs> so on the Pure Dog Talk podcast, we've talked other times. Uh, people have asked, you know, what do you do in the group? How do you, how do you handle it? So here's a great situation. You're in the cut. You've made the cut. Maybe you weren't expecting to make the cut. And, and what do you do? And you've got to remember, this is your chance to... Show your dog, people. This is this is the big moment. <laughs> Always helps to have a cheering section. Gal's doing a nice job with her toilet puppy. There you go. 
She's pulled out the pointer. English setter. Brittany. And the Griffon. Beautiful lineup. And there you go. One, two, three, four. 